I'm Laurent Rossi, I'm the CEO of Alpine. Well, it was uh, certainly uh, a challenging uh, season. It was a season uh, of learning for me first, because it was my first year in Formula One. Uh, for the team as well, because uh, there were uh, a lot of things we needed to improve operationally on the track, around the drivers. Um, and I guess we, we learned, we learned a lot, we put that together and uh, we ended up uh, scoring uh, 20 races out of 22, which uh, showed that uh, we, we really made progress throughout the year and that uh, gave us the, uh, the fifth position in the championship. We also learned uh, to win, which is quite important uh, and the team knows that they have that in, uh, in themselves. So uh, definitely an exciting year, but only the beginning. Yeah, it's going to be uh, uh, quite an exciting year because uh, the technical regulations are going to reshuffle all the cards. Uh, everyone stands a chance. And uh, the financial regulations are also uh, going to make sure that uh, everyone plays with the same uh, chances. So really, it's an exciting year. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing if what we put together last year, in addition to uh, the new organization, will uh, deliver along the uh, uh, very ambitious project that we have to uh, get back on the podium and to win uh, within 100 r races. Well, Otmar is uh, going to join us as a team principal. Uh, he's going to bring his uh, uh, technical expertise, for sure. He's an engineer by trade, but he's also going to bring uh, his uh, unique leadership. Uh, he's been very successful in the past uh, with uh, Racing Point and other teams, uh, getting a fourth position with one of the lowest budget uh, in, the, in the paddock. So uh, certainly he's going to bring us uh, very uh, uh, valuable expertise. Uh, is also a team builder, and that's quite important because the team really needs uh, to gel uh, around the uh, the team principle and and to uh, uh, aim for the same goal. And I think it's uh, something that's critical in in uh, every winning uh, outfit, uh, any sports, uh, whether it's Formula One or anything else. Um, beyond that, uh, we also have Bruno Faman joining us uh, in Viry, and it's going to be an incredible addition to the team. Bruno Fama has a very uh, wide experience in motorsports, as well as a great knowledge of uh, working with uh, engineers uh, and, and others and that in the motorsports activities, thanks to his role in FIA. So uh, those two are going to be leading the charge, along with uh, Pat Fry and Matt Harmon, our newly appointed CTO and uh, technical director, which are uh, considerably strengthening our, our position on the technical side. So that uh, team here, along with all of the others that are in the team already, uh, I think uh, is going to bring us to new heights. Partners are, are essential to any team and, and to Alpine in, in, in particular. Uh, BWT is bringing uh, a lot to us. First, a wealth of experience in Formula One. Uh, BWT and Andreas uh, have been in Formula One for long. They know the, the area very well. So it's always good to have partners you can rely on in, in many uh, aspects, uh, the sporting, the uh, technical, financial, political. Uh, we have to uh, remember that it's not just a, a race at the end of the day. Uh, they will also bring us uh, a lot of expertise in uh, CSR, uh, being at the forefront, and Andres being one of the most prominent leaders uh, on this, uh, in this area. Uh, they're also uh, going to bring expertise in other uh, areas that are of importance uh, for the Renault Group, such as the hydrogen. So it's uh, really like a, a, a critical partner that's going to bring us uh, way more than just a name. Uh, and then Binance is uh, obviously uh, making uh, um, Alpine enter into a new era because we're not uh, sticking to uh, traditional uh, partners. We're uh, entering new worlds, uh, new business ideas, new economy, and Binance is going to uh, show us the way. So it's important to uh, rely on partners like that to uh, tackle the challenges of the future, which are going to be the challenges of Formula One as well. I want the drivers to continue doing what they were doing last year. Uh, it's not just driving fast, uh, they've been uh, real leaders in the uh, organization. Um, they've been uh, pushing everyone, every single member of the organization, uh, much higher. 
it's not just their uh, uh, race engineers or their set, like performance cell, uh, the bubble around them. It's everyone in the team. They go, they ask questions, uh, they, they want to solve any problem, no stone unturned. And I really like this attitude because it's mainly thanks to them and their collaboration in between the two of them that the team managed to score so many points and, and, and get that fifth uh, position in the championship. Oscar is uh, uh, clearly the future of Formula One and, and of Alpine, I hope. He's a great talent. He's been breaking records after records. Uh, he's an uh, amazing pedigree. Being so young is a great testament of his talent. He's going to learn a lot with us. He's going to bring us as well uh, his uh, unique expertise because he's a great driver. He, know, he knows uh, driving lines uh, better than anyone else. So he will probably be able to uh, bring his contribution to uh, even the senior uh, pilots, uh, drivers such as uh, Fernando and, and Esteban. So uh, really looking forward to building the future with Oscar.